This video goes over question three of the radical functions assignment. For the given rational function, find the intercepts, determine the domain, find any vertical or horizontal asymptotes, graph y equals f of x. So the first thing we're going to do is find the x-intercept. So we're going to take the numerator of the function and set it equal to zero and solve for x. So that's nine equals 3x, which gives us x equals 3. And then for the y-intercept, we're going to evaluate the function at x equals 0. So 3, or 9 minus 3 times 0 over 0 minus 10. That's going to be 9 over negative 10 or negative 9 tenths. So we'll go put those answers in. So the x-intercept is 3, check answer, nice work. And this is going to be a fraction, negative 9 over 10, check answer, good job. And we get the strange continue button. Determine the domain of f of x. The one illegal thing in all of math is dividing by 0, so we're going to say the denominator of this function x minus 10 can never equal 0, so x can never equal positive 10. So we'll go put that in. Check answer. Fantastic. What are the vertical asymptotes? That's also going to be x equals 10. Well done. Horizontal asymptotes. So the way we do that, we say as x approaches positive or negative infinity, f of x is going to be approaching negative 3x over x, which is going to be approaching negative 3. So our horizontal asymptote is y equals negative 3. We'll go put that in. They already gave us the y equals. We just put in the negative 3. Excellent. Another continue button. And here they give us the graph. We know we need to be to the right of the y-axis for the uh, vertical asymptote, and we need to be below the x-axis for the horizontal. So it's got to be A, even though they told us to graph it in the calculator. And I'll go do that. So I'm going to go to the calculator, start a new problem, doc, four for insert, one for problem, two for a graph, put in a fraction, 9 minus 3x over x minus 10. And we don't have enough of a window to see the whole graph. And they used, we can look down here, negative 30 to 30, negative 30 to 30. So I'm going to do that change menu, 4 for window slant, zoom, window settings, negative 30, to 30, and it looks like they used maybe 5 or 6 for the tick marks. Negative 30 to 30. Put in 5 again. So that looks more like that. I'm actually going to go put in the vertical asymptote with a uh, relations graph. So I'm going to go to graph entry edit, relation. I want it to be red. So I'm going to go down to relation to x equals 10. And we have our vertical asymptote in red. And I can change that to dotted by clicking that back open. Control menu is like a right click. Attributes, going to line style and making it dashed. And then I'm going to go down 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 which will give me another red relation, y equals negative 3. And then I can make that dashed as well. Control menu, like a right click. I want line style to be dashed. And now I have, in addition to what the book has, I've got nice pretty colors. So this graph looks almost exactly like this one. And that concludes this video.